Hello everyone, I'm Vikram P. Maduri here. I'm an SAP architect, so welcome to JS Soft Tech. And in this session, we're going to discuss a further few more questions on BW. Uh, and uh, these are very important for us uh, for attending the interviews. So this would be for interview preparation of SAP BW. So if at all, if you are looking out for SAP trainings, you can contact us at info at the rate This would be our email ID. And continuing with the questions, like we have completed till 28 questions in the session two and uh, in the session three, we are going to start with 29th question. So what is a start schema? A fact table at the center and surrounded by uh, dimension tables is uh, is known as a start schema. And in the start schema, uh, dimension IDs will be linking the fact table with the characteristics uh, in the dimensions. So a diamond, the fact table is linked with the dimensions with the dimension IDs. What is a slow changing dimension? A, a dimension containing characteristics whose value changes over a pe time period. For example, uh, take, an, take an employee's job title. This changes over a period of time as a employee moves through an organization. This is called a slow changing dimension. What is the namespace for BW? All SAP objects start with the zero. So these are the SAP standard objects that we have, which will start with zero. You will not be able to create any objects starting with zero because they are SAP standard ones. So if at all, if you see some objects like an a, it might be an info object or a cube or a DSO which start with zero, it means that it's SAP standard, which comes by default with the software itself. The customer namespace uh, starts with A to Z. You can start a, a, any a, any naming any alphabet. You can start an object. You can create a, a, any SAP BW object with starting with A to Z any alphabet. All tables begin with the slash BIO for SAP and a slash BIC for the customer. So if at all if you are uh, having an SAP standard object, the tables if at all if you are created uh, if, if there is an SAP standard cube, then on the, the the tables which are uh, behind the cube will start with slash BIO uh, for SAP and uh, slash BIC for the customers like if at all if they are customized cubes or, or DSOs the backend tables will be generated with the slash BIC all generated objects start with a 1 to 8 like export data sources the prefix 9a is used in uh, APU advanced planning and optimizing on what is an info object info objects are the business objects for example, customer product, they are divided into characteristics and key figures. Characteristics are evaluation objects such as customer and key figures and measurable objects such as sales and quantity. So um, uh, key figures can enter in only numbers. It can be only a pure number. Characteristics can be alphanumeric values. It can have, it can contain anything. So characteristics also include special objects like unit and time as well. What are the time dependent text or attributes of characteristics? So if a text, for example, a name of a product or a person or uh, or if an attribute changes over time, then th these must be marked as time dependent. Can you create your own time characteristics? No, you have 13 standard time characteristics and those 13 standard time characteristics only we can use across our uh, projects, but we cannot create our own time characteristic. What is meant by alpha conversion? Alpha conversion is basically used to store data consistently. It does does this by storing numeric values prefix with zeros. So if you have defined a material as length six of type numeric, then material number is one is stored as uh, you know uh, uh, five zeros uh, followed by one, but displayed as one. This removes inconsistencies. It's not just alpha. Uh, it's not just for adding or removing the leading zeros it can also be used for a currency for conversion of lowercase letters to uppercase letters and uppercase letters to lowercase letters so alpha conversion is something which will have a predefined logic written back behind it so we just all that we have to do is we have to use the alpha conversion where it is required and the back end code will be executed what is the attribute attributes only flag if this flag is set no master data is stored and this is only used as an uh, attribute for other characteristics for example comments on an accounts receivable document so if at all if you have created a attribute for a particular characteristic 
and if it is having a flag uh, set as that it, it is only for attributes you can create use it as an attribute but you cannot use it as an independent character you cannot use use that uh, particular uh, uh, attribute character uh, in in uh, in any dso or cube or you cannot maintain mass data for that particular field what are the data types allowed for key figures we have amount quantity number integer date and type these are six uh, data types that we have in key figures and remember if at all if you are giving a, a key figure of type amount or quantity it must be it must be complemented with uh, currency or unit so if it is a type amount there should be a currency and if it is of type quantity there should be unit for sure what are the aggregation options for key figures so if you are defining prices then you may want to set no aggregation or you can define maximum minimum and sum so you can also define exception aggregation like first last etc this is helpful in getting a headcount example example if you define a monthly inventory count key figure you want the count as uh, as of the last uh, day of the previous month so for that we will be using the aggregation option for the key figures so what is the maximum number of key figures you can have in an info queue uh, the maximum number of info you know key figures that we can have in an info queue is 233 and what is the mag what is the maximum number of characteristics you can have a dimension that would be 248 and how many dimensions we can have in maximum in a queue that will be 13 so 13 into 248 is the maximum number of characters that we, that we can have in a particular queue what is <coughs> SID and what are the what are its advantages the SID table the surrogate ID table is the interface between master data and the dimension tables so it, the advantages of uh, having an SID is using 8-byte integer values as indexes for faster access. Master data is dip independent of uh, info cubes, supports multi-languages -lang multi uh, and supports slowly, slowly changing dimensions. So these are the things that we have in this. And uh, the surrogate ID is basically an auto-generated number for every characteristic uh, uh, specifically to you know, uh, map the in data information with the fact table. So which tables are generated for master data? So there will be P tables. P tables will be generated for time independent master data attributes. Q table will be generated for time dependent master data attributes. And S table will be generated for surrogate IDs. M view, M view will be created for combining uh, combines P and Q. Uh, that will be the time dependent and time independent uh, master data attributes and then we have the x table interface between master data sids and time independent navigation attributes sids p is like linked to the x table so y table interface between master data sids and time dependent navigation attributes sids q is linked to, to, to the y table so what is that dim id so there are, there are dimension ids dim IDs link dimensions to the fact table so it is an 8 byte uh, integer like SID. What is a table partition? So by partitioning we split the table into smaller tables which is transparent to the application. This improves performance when reading as well as for deleting the data as well. So SAP uses fact table partitioning to improve performance and note that you can only do the partitioning if at all if you have a field called 0 cal month or 0 fiscal year, 0 fisper only if these two time characteristics are existing either of these two then you can make a partition and remember partitioning is not entertained in the in the in the, um, in the s, um, s by 4 uh, the, the bw by 4 or you can also say it as bw on hana so it's been it's been uh, no more in use for bw on hana because uh, they don't you don't require any table partitioning because table partitioning is basically done for the perf improving the improving the performance of the system but in in the in the case of sap uh, hana bw on hana you already have a high performance so you don't have to worry about the you know performance issue so remember that the partition partition is created only in the e fact table the f fact table is partitioned by request number as a default so advantages of partition are like makes use of uh, parallel processing allows a smaller set of data to be read and allows data deletion there is the fast deletion and how many extra partitions are created and why you partition a cube with data so usually two extra partitions are created to accommodate uh, 
data before the beginning period and one after the end of the partitioning period so no you cannot partition a cube with data so a cube must be empty to part to partition it one one workaround is to make a copy of the cube a to cube b and then to export data from a to b using export data source then empty the empty cube a creates a partition on a uh, re-import data from B and delete the cube B. So this is how we actually do. We used to do it in, <coughs> in the olden days. Uh, so note that this is going to be a change in the NetWeaver 2004. So uh, this is something which we used to have it in the in the old versions. Right now this is no way no way in use. So what is a source system? Any system that is sending data to BW like R3, flat file, Oracle database or any non ECP system which is also called as legacy system can be can be considered as source system from where we are getting the data into PW. What is a data source and what is an info source? So this is something which is regularly asked in most of the interviews. So difference between the data source and the info source. The data source, the source that is sending data to a particular info source uh, on BW, for example, we have a zero customer and DTR data source to supply attributes to zero customer from R3. Info source group of logically related objects. For example, the zero customer uh, info source will contain data related to customer and attributes like customer number, address, phone number, etc. So basically, we will be using mostly the data source. Under the data source, we'll have the info package wherein we are going to store the data, and later we are going to move the data to the cube or DS. What are the four types of info sources? We have transactional info sources attributes in text and hierarchy what is the communication structure so it, it, it is an independent structure created from an info source it is independent of the source system or the data source what are transfer rules and what is the global transfer rule? so this is something which is for the older versions it's not applicable for the latest pw version so we can just ignore that but name some import formulas available in pw so we have something called concatenate substring contents left and left align or right align and uh, one trim or r trim replace date routines like date conversion or uh, you you want to have you want to mention the week you want to mention the date in in alphabetical order all these things can be done through uh, the formulas what is the process of replication and what menu path used to perform it so this uh, basically the process of replication is basically we we replicate the data from the r3 system and uh, then we are going to load the data uh, from the r3 system to the into the into the bw system so this will not be visible in the bw system until you replicate it so you replicate using the in transaction rs7 so system and we need to right click on the system replicate and basically you need to select the system from where we are going to replicate the data so we need to make sure that the source system from where we are replicating the data is perfectly aligned and connected with the with rfc connection uh, with the bw server so it gets replicated from the r3 system to the bw system you can also replicate to any info area level so what is the update rule so basically the update rule is something which is outdated now so yeah so there are a couple of questions that have been outdated right now in the sap bi 7.0 bw 7.4 or bw 7.5 so i just ignore them and i'm going to add few more questions which are latest uh, based on bw on hana so i have uh, i have prepared uh, a lot of questions on bw on hana and i'm going to uh, soon prepare few sessions on that and um, yeah so uh, enjoy learning sap and you know all that you have to do is focus have patience and you need to consistently start working on it and you know if at all if you spend every day 15 minutes of your time uh, on upgrading your knowledge on in the particular module in which you are working in or you are about to get the job in i guess you would uh, do miracles in coming few months so if at all if you are doing continuously uh, you know a, a, a brush up of uh, all these topics for 15 minutes every day i think for a few months continuously it's it's going to make a lot of difference to your career and have a great day and uh, thanks for watching this video do subs do like and share 
and subscribe our channel so www.youtube.com slash jadesoftech have a great day thank you